Hey everybody, it's the Griffix, and welcome back to another episode of Mardak Chapter 3. In the last episode, we explored the life wood a bit, we met with a fairy colony, and we found ourselves here in the Serpent's Lair. So I thought that we'd explore the Serpent's Lair a little bit before we uh, continue on with the life wood. What do you guys think? I think that sounds like a good idea. Oh, we got an encounter right away. Sweet. Maybe we got some new enemies here? We certainly do. We got a lot of new enemies here. We got a rat bat, a cave fish, an axolotl, and a tweed. So this rat bat is what it's attack us here. Standard bat weaknesses. It's actually a rat though, that's really weird. Uh, we get this cave fish, this cave fish, which is weak to uh, Charla. We got this axolotl, which is also weak to Charla, and this tweed, which has really high magic magic defense actually. So let's uh, let's snipe him with uh, with lightning bolt. I want to see one. I want to see three. No, I want to see three dead there. Silence gas. That's kind of annoying. Uh, nothing we haven't handled before. Let's uh, take him with flame maybe. Yeah, that'll work. And then the rest of these guys, we'll take out this tweed pretty easily. Yeah, and then this axolotl. Oh, never mind. Thought uh, we were going to get an attack with uh, a snack. Never mind. All right. That was pretty cool. These are very neat new enemies. They're seem to the enemies seem to be really creative at this point in the game. I like that a lot. Um, I wonder if this serpent slayer is gonna be particularly big. Um, I do have a feeling of what we're gonna see here. Ooh, so we got wow, three treasures back there. All right, we're gonna have to find that uh, that switch. Hello. Oh, so there's gonna be times where we have to actually deactivate the switches. Interesting. Oh, this is very cool. I like this a lot. So. I was, I was wondering, I, I think I said earlier in the Let's Play that we probably would never have to deactivate switches. Um, I was wrong. And Charlotte mastered Spirit plus one, and Marduk also uh, got to level 30, which means he has more ability points for us to use, which means we can put damage plus 10 on him, I guess, on here, and we can put almost light minus 50 on him here. Uh, and what else, can, what can we do here? Nothing here, no. And four, actually, I could throw on, uh, throw on, like, I don't know, like, MP plus 10, for example. Uh, and then for Sharla, I'm actually going to take off, uh, this spirit plus one thing, and I'm going to throw on, uh, this, so she can master earth minus 50. I'm going to just take off water, put on earth. Uh, actually, I'm going to take off dark and put on water, because there's a lot of water, sp uh, stuff here. Speaking of which, uh, yep, good, and so snack also has it, good, okay. We are actually very well prepared for this. Uh, we're, we're more pre well prepared for this area than I thought we were. So we can walk over these. Yes. Okay. Good. We can. So I was wrong about having to uh, about having to um, never deactivate these switches. It seems like for areas like this, we're going to need to. So I'm actually going to be away for a while. Um, not that you guys are. Hopefully, not that you guys are going to notice. Um, so I'm actually pre-recording a ton of episodes right now. Which uh, is not a big deal, but uh, I think it's the first time I've ever pre-recorded this many episodes all at once. This is my first batch. Anyway, so I'm pre-recording a bunch of episodes now, uh, just so I don't go dead for another six months, like you guys are, uh, like you guys are very used to me doing. So yeah, um, you guys are gonna have to let me know uh, how you, if you guys like this pre-recording, if you want it to continue, or if uh, if you guys just want me to not. Um, so I just knocked off the. Uh, Oops. I just knocked off the, the blue switch here, so I'm actually going to head over there just off screen so I don't have to waste all the time walking over there. Uh, we're going to go check out uh, what those chests are, so I'll be right back. And so Snack mastered XP plus 20 in this battle. Okay, so we get these treasures over here. What do we got? We got a rune shield, a wood shield engraved with magical runes. It's not too useful against physical strikes, but it should ward magic well. A phoenix down. And another Aquamarine. We got three of them. Whoa, alright. Cool. Uh, so let's see this let's see this uh yeah, this rune shield here. One defense and five magical defense compared to our three and three. Uh it does M damage minus twenty, and it's Thama. Uh, I would like to put this on Mardek. And so he can finally learn uh magic minus uh yeah, sweet, magic minus twenty. And actually we have enough skill points for it as well. That's pretty good. Alright, uh, now I'm going to go grab the stuff over here, and I'll meet you guys back uh, over there, actually, yeah. Okay, so now we get these treasures here to open. What do we got here? Liquid Sound, ten of them, that's pretty nice. Uh, lesser Rainbow Shirt, a rather psychedelically fabulous looking garment, worn more for protection against all manner of elements than for its looks. And what do we got here? Fish Scales, alright, nice. Now, this looks crazy. Rainbow Aura Level 1. What is this? 
this looks look i gotta put it on right Ma marcus mastered this yes absolutely we're putting it on i don't care we're putting it on rain this has got to be here yeah oh my god it's 10. increases resistance to natural more and spiritual elements by 20 percent it seems pretty good rainbow aura i will put that on uh when i can it's just like strictly better mostly uh actually can yeah now so that can actually wear this so that's good good for snack as well because that's uh plus three in his defense yeah wow that seems really good and is that what kind of armor is that it's clothing wow okay so that means everybody can wear it everybody can get this psychedelic sweet that's that's pretty good uh i'm actually gonna go ahead and meet you guys back down here uh after i flicked on all the switches and we're ready to move on to the next area so i'll be right back and charla finally mastered double ap Okay, and we finally made it here to the bridge. So let's check out what's uh, what's across here. Wonder if it's gonna be more of this uh, cool dungeon. Oh, I see something fancy down there. I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. Um, so on back under the tirade I was on before about uh, uh, being away. So uh, as you guys know, like I was saying before, the random encounter uh, captured my I don't know whatever. Um, as you guys know, I'm a, uh, I'm a university student, uh, and I'm going to be getting uh, the December break off. So I'm going to be gone and not be able to record videos for probably about December 22nd to, I think, January like 8th or something. It's a, it's a long while before I'll be able to record videos, so that's why I'm pre-recording a bunch of this stuff on advance here. We got a save crystal. That doesn't bode well. Um, maybe we'll be fighting like a boss or something? I'm not, I'm not quite sure here. But whatever, nevertheless, we're uh, we're using the safe crystal anyways. Let's check out what's over. Oh, I think I see something. Okay. Whoa. That's cool. Hello. A jolly good... Wait, a sea server is talking. A jolly good uh, hello to you, stranger who's invading my lair. I say, it's my dirty of you to go and do that, old chap. I suppose you're here for a magnificent crest, eh? To sell it to poachers or use it in the brew? At last, I suppose I'm going to have to brutally slaughter and value, old sport. Because I don't want to part with this here old headpiece. Nothing personal, mind. That's a really weird for... Whoa, he's really strong. He's level 30. Um, that wasn't too bad, actually. I was expecting that to be way worse. All right, so we got a Serpent, level 30. He's completely immune to water. He's weak to um, electricity. Very weak to earth. Unfortunately, we don't have any of that. And uh, slightly weak to fire. So let's see if we can take him out here. Um, I don't know what we're going to want to use here. I'm thinking, like... Do we want agility boost? I don't think we want any agility boost. I don't think that's I don't think that's necessary. F five, five, 541 is pretty good. Um, God, I wish Donovan. I so wish Donovan had had a healing spell. It'd be so much better. Uh, except we're gonna use air slash and just destroy him though, right? Yeah, 855 is nice. And the snack? Another 400 for you? That, okay. This isn't. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is just as bad as I thought it was. All right, um, we're gonna have to heal with Marduk, except that was probably a bad idea because we should probably be healing with Sharla because Marduk will do more damage. Oh my God. And this is, uh, I don't think Donovan's gonna live through that. I'm sorry, Donovan. Oh man, I'm so bad at these, at these uh, techs. All right, we're healing wind. Yeah, that's much better. Nice, okay. Uh, so we're gonna pyroma pyromancy. Man, this guy does so much damage. Okay, Air Slash. Get out of here. 9, nine 10 is good. Get out of here. This is good. Oh, God. Okay, if I didn't defend that, Sharla might have died. Why am I attacking with Sharla? I gotta heal with Sharla. I gotta attack with Marduk. I'm a dumb fool idiot. Oh, yeah, good. Okay, I was gonna just say, maybe we should poison him. Uh, I'm really glad that that came to fruition. Can you, like, heal you Tsunami a bit more, my dude? It wasn't that bad. Uh, wait, was that 600 damage you just took from from the poison? I think that was just 600 damage. I wasn't paying attention. Yo, I'm gonna pay attention to that next time. Yo, Dugan, go cr or Donovan, go crazy, my dude. Hold on, I want to see if this is 600 like I like I thought it was. Give me another 600. Holy cow, it's 601. This is crazy. We do crazy damage. Also, that's no one does nothing because we're all uh, we're all resistant to water. My God, this is easy. Oh. All right. Well, I mean, it's easy enough that I can probably skip Donovan's turn. Not that I probably should skip Donovan's turn. 
Yeah, just keep attacking Marduk. Doesn't really matter. He's uh, way too tanky for your ass. I'm sorry, you two, but I didn't mean to say that. Alright. Uh, we're getting to snack the XP here. Yeah. Nice. 10,000? 10,000 XP? This is crazy. And we got the Serpent's Crest and some Water Essence. See ya, guy. Um, if you guys didn't know, or if you guys haven't been paying attention to uh, to the series as a whole, um, the Serpent's Crest is actually what we needed for the Shaman uh, in the... Um, in the uh, in the Gosnar Woods to actually make that water breathing potion, so we'll probably be able to make that pretty soon. Oh, I like how this is kind of like a serpent itself. Um, so I'm gonna go quick. I'm gonna just exit here, and uh, we're gonna continue on from actually inside the Life Wood. So I'll meet you guys back outside on uh, in the Life Wood. Okay, I'm back, and I'm actually just grabbing this chest I blatantly missed uh, on the way here. Um, I noticed it while I was editing my uh, my video last time. So yeah, we're back here in the in the uh, life wood here. You guys might be interested to know that both Sharla and Sasnek uh, level up off screen. So uh, like most level ups, not very important, but uh, you know, gets us one closer to skill points. Hello, who are you? Tee hee hee! This forest is large. Oh, you can travel. Cool. So maybe I can travel right to the entrance. Hello, who are you? Murians. This guy again. Who in the devil are you? Well, hey, you're the bandit chief from the mines that we let go. Free. I hope you didn't become a bandit again. Oh, oh, you're one of those soldiers from Chapter 2. I mean, from the gem mine incident. I lost a lot of good men to your blades. But I'm no longer the bandit chief. No, no, I, uh, changed my ways, just like you told me to. Yes, I wouldn't want to die by your hand, after all. Now I'm a treasure hunter, yes. I hunt for ancient treasures and relics now, you see. No, not not for my own personal gain either. No, I have I have forgotten about the finding the magical crystals I spent my life fantasizing about and feeling mysteriously drawn to, and now I merely collect trinkets to display in museums for the bright, hungry eyes of lovely little children. <sighs> you must believe me. Well, I'm glad that you've changed and become good now. Yes, there's something I like more. Uh, there's nothing I like more than seeing the smiles on those children's faces after getting back from a long, selfless trek into dangerous ruins. Anyway, now that you're here, friend, and now that I'm no longer evil, perhaps you can be useful to me. I mean, perhaps we can help each other. I mean, perhaps you can do me a favor. I mean, whatever sounds the least selfish and evil, you know. In my treasure hunting, th that I for sure do, I stumbled upon this runestone fragment. It is a fragment, of course, of a runestone. I imagine with an earth element glyph etched into it. I did some research and found out that this is the key to this temple here, the earth temple, where the earth crystal sleeps. This temple has been left undisturbed for decades, since the means to get inside was mysteriously lost. So it is certain there's all kinds of trinkets and baubles inside that I can retrieve to show to the kittywinks, smiles and all that, you see? But my predicament is this. A fragment is a fragment, not a hole. You cannot, you cannot open a lock with half a key. Do you understand this, my mentally gifted friend? Well, do you, well, do you mean if we can get it in there if we have the other fragments? Yes, that is what I mean. Your, deduc your deductive skills are astounding. It looks to me that these runestones were sundered and twain in a very bisective manner, if you follow my drift. That is to say, it was broken in half. There is likely one other fragment needed to complete the stone. I have been searching for this other fragment for some time, but as of yet, to no avail. I was wondering whether it was near the temple, which is why I am here. If you come across it, be a deer and bring it to me. Then we can both get inside and bring smiles to the face of those temporarily, of those temporally challenged members of one dear, dear, of our dear, dear race. Alright, so I guess we can't get in here right now. It's still with a powerful magic, you can't open it or bash it down. Well, that sounds like a long quest, so I think I'm probably going to start that quest in the next episode. So, until then, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace off.